Uh, I've followed Jonah for a while, actually, because we had a look at him at Worcester and tried to recruit him. At that time, he was um, at WAS, and really the time we were looking was when he's having a lot of success with Leeds. Um, and WAS actually um, wouldn't be flexible in terms of what that might look like. And um, then you miss that opportunity, and he goes on to Leicester to, to you know, increase his successes and, and get international so it's not just about looking over the last three or four months probably been looking at the last six to seven years and just looking at opportunities because one at Worcester it was trying to find people that other people hadn't found and I think now at the Dragons is we know there's not a huge amount of movement within regions and and looking at exile markets as opportunities for us to increase the strength of the Dragons and you know, it helps when there's a, um, you know, I suppose a, a public facing about bringing Welsh players back and, and everything else. And I think the Prem clubs are facing the challenge of um, having non-qualified English players. And that just was an opportunity. And, and having followed Jonah, his ability to play in a number of positions for a, a squad like ourselves is is hugely beneficial. It is a competitive position, but you know, that it's also uh, a huge amount of benefit as well. So a huge amount of attraction for him to come in to us, a new tournament, and and hopefully push on for, for more international honours because, uh, you know, Jonah alluded to playing one game or being in a squad, going away, playing in the Prem, coming back, doesn't suit anybody. So being in a managed programme, trying to look at a, a block of time over eight and nine months that you get the best out of yourselves is is the platform for Jonah to push on. Um, what regions are a balancing act? They're a balancing act of being able to push people on to international honours and, and create enough stability for the region to, 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 to keep moving. Um, we've made no um, secret of our desire to see more people playing international rugby from Dragons. And... Uh, you know, I think that's part of the carrot for us to get some momentum, for us to seek aspiration and change the pathway that the Dragons has been on. And, you know, we've seen a lot of guys getting more squad time last year and, and everything else. This is just an increase of that. Well, having to chat, uh, chat with Dean and, and the, uh, the performance staff, um, I know the kind of game that they want to play and um, it's the kind of game I want to be part of. Um, so I won't say too much of that because, you know, <clears throat> we'll see it. We'll see it next year. But... Um, it's exciting and, and it's the kind of it's the style of rugby that I you know want to be part of. I've, I've played uh, played once before back, back when I was playing at Wasps, um, but that was it actually. Um, but like, you know, luckily I, I do know a few of the boys. Um, uh, so you know, the first day won't be won't be too much like the first day of school. But uh, obviously, there's a full squad I need to get to know, and I'm looking forward to that.